here we have the second most important piece of equipment for most people who do this trip. First is the canoe, second is the cart. So, this is a paddle cart from paddlecart.com and it has pneumatic tires, which most people, um, you know, try not to get because they can pop. Um, it's held together by a cotter pin, washer, you take off your wheel, the bearing. One thing that did happen over the course of using this is the bearings. Um, these, so these are ball bearings, which is great. And it's not, it's metal on metal. There's no plastic involved, but going down hills and over hills, it, uh, it sort of forced out these parts of the plastic, which means that the bearing doesn't stay in, but it, it rests on it just fine. And as long as it's on the axle, it works fine. So this is a steel axle um, or aluminum frame. I got it because uh, in my guidebook it said that somebody had got all the way through this trip all the way to Fort Kent without a single issue with one of these carts, which is a huge plus because it seems like the number one problem that people have on this trip that makes them stop or um, forces them to wait to get resupplied or go to the hardware store is a cart failure. So very solid structure. And again, you have basically cotter pins down here that hold this structure on. It wiggles, but there's no, um, but it's very strong. Um, and so pretty thick, pretty thick tires. I didn't have to worry about the rims pinching the, uh, the tubes at all. And most importantly for me, it, the construction and pieces were so simple like a cotter pin, you just use a, just find a nail somewhere, a washer. In fact, this washer here, I needed a little bit of a thicker washer. I found this washer on the side of the road, and I just and it was the right thickness, so I just popped her on, and there you go. Um, the back of this cotter pin head started getting worn through. You can see that now it's not flat totally across the back. That was because um, it was it was rubbing against one of the bearings, so I was hearing a grinding noise. Luckily, I figured out what it was before anything broke. If something had broke again, it would have been easy to replace. Um, that was the only thing that was close to a breakage that happened for me. Other than that, I got all the way through this trip without having a single cart issue, which um, was one of my biggest worries about going on this trip. So it was a little more expensive than I think most carts are. This cost about $200, $200 including shipping. Um, but considering that it made it all the way through with no issues, uh, it was definitely worth every penny. This was my PFD. I don't think there's really much to say here. Onyx is the company. Um, River 10 is the model. I don't know. Worked fine for me. Um, it's bulkier than most, but um, that was fine. It has two pockets. Uh, and let me show you what I have in those pockets. So in those pockets, I had first this, which is sort of like, you know, one of those cheap survival-y things that they sell. Um, so it had a whistle. This is flagging tape. Underneath the flagging tape, you can't really see, is duct tape wound around it. There's matches inside with a compass on top. Um, all of that's pretty much redundant. I have that, except for the whistle, I have all this somewhere else in my stuff. But um, I wanted to, it, I wanted to still, be, still have some stuff if I were stranded somewhere and I only had my PFD. So I had that in there. The other thing that I had is this. So this is a personal locator beacon. Um, ARC is the company and uh, RescueLink is the model. So this is an emergency signaling device. Um, I did, so in terms of communication, I brought a cell phone, which was pretty much, I honestly did not get reception after the Nulhegan River in Vermont. So all of New Hampshire, starting with the Connecticut River until the end. So more than half of the trip, I didn't get any um, any reception. 
So um, this did not, of course, unlike some of the fancier, fancier things that Delorum sells or the Spot sells, this does not allow me to send any messages to loved ones or for them to know where I am. All that this is is an SOS button if I really need it. So um, let me show you how it works. So this is the antenna and you flip the antenna up and um, now there's two buttons on the side. There's This one says T and this one has a power symbol. I've never pressed that one and that's a good thing. The power symbol, once you turn it on, um, for, you have to register this with the, um, with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration before you use it. Um, but it sends out a signal and it uses a, G, uses a GPS to contact rescue uh, agencies directly to get help to your exact location. And so once you press that power button, um, there's going to be the call in the cavalry, so to speak. This, this is a test button just to make sure that the internal electronics are working correctly. So, you know, you can press this and it flashes some lights at you, which tells you that, um, well, I guess you can't really see that, but it flashes some lights at you, which tells you that the batteries are, char are, are adequate or that it's getting a good GPS signal. I decided on this as opposed to the, some of the fancier options because it was $200 and it's good for five years. The battery is good for five years and you don't have to subscribe to anything. The other options, um, the units were several hundred dollars and then the subscription fees in order to send messages um, and for it to work at all cost additional money on top of that. Um, I think spot was the spot devices were about a hundred dollars a year which you know I'm not somebody who really feels the need to send a lot of messages out there or for other people to necessarily know where I am unless it's in an emergency. So this really seemed like the, the right thing to get. And so this lived in my PFD the whole trip and I never used it, which, you know, is how you want it. Well, so this, is, this concludes my canoe gear review for my 2018 Northern Forest Canoe Trail through paddle. And I want to thank you for watching and I will post links to all the stuff that I can from here. And um, I, I hope that you enjoyed. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me um, either through my account or leave a comment below. Have a great day.